What if a demon crept after you into your loneliest loneliness, some day or night, and said to you, This life, as you live it at present, and have lived it, you must live it once more, and also innumerable times, and there will be nothing new in it, but every pain, and every joy, and every thought, and every sigh and all the unspeakably small and great in thy life must come to you again, and all in the same series and sequence. And similarly this spider, and this moonlight among the trees, and similarly this moment, and I myself. The eternal sand glass of existence will ever be turned once more, and you with it, you speck of dust. Would you not throw yourself down, and gnash your teeth, and curse the demon that so spoke? Or have you once experienced the tremendous moment in which you would answer him, You are a god, and never did I hear anything so divine. If that thought acquired power over you as you are, it would transform you, and perhaps crush you. The question with regards to all and everything. Do you want this once more, and also for innumerable times, would lie as the heaviest burden upon your activity? Or, how would you have to become favorably inclined to yourself and to life, so as to long for nothing more ardently than for this last eternal sanctioning and sealing? This passage comes from Friedrich Nietzsche's The Gay Science, Aphorism 341. Here, he asks us to consider whether or not we would be content and live in the entirety of our lives over and over and over again. You are born, you make decisions throughout your life, die, then relive your life subject to those same decisions. An eternal recurrence, as it's called, again and again indefinitely. With this in mind, ask yourself if you're satisfied with the choices you've been making so far. Would you be willing to relive those choices over and over again? I keep this thought experiment in mind whenever I come across important decisions. For example, right now I'm in law school, and I'm not so sure I'm enjoying it. I don't think I'd be satisfied reliving my life over and over again as a lawyer. That's why I took this risk and started this YouTube channel, so I could do things that I'm actually passionate about. Subscribe, by the way. Maybe I don't succeed but I would forever hate myself and be full of regret if I had to relive this missed opportunity indefinitely. I also think about this thought experiment when I'm just being lazy. With the internet nowadays, it's easy to get sucked into a YouTube video binge or a social media trap. I try to remind myself that life isn't just about consuming content, but also creating content. Sure, there's a time and place to be lazy, well, let's be real, folks. Sometimes it just gets to be too much. Ask yourself if you'd be comfortable reliving this wasted time over and over again, and you may find yourself being more productive. The eternal recurrence is an idea that's both terrifying and motivating. It's probably even more so terrifying for those who are older, as there are less decisions to be made, as opposed to someone who's younger. But while there is still breath in us, Nietzsche reminds us that this life is ours, and we should fully live it. To do otherwise would be to waste a precious gift.